And although Jehu was at first commissioned by God, his violence just gets out of control and it creates the spiral of political assassinations and rebellions from which Israel never recovered. Coup follows coup after Jehu, and each king follows other gods, allows horrible injustice. Second Kings 15 In the twenty-seventh year of Jeroboam, king of Israel, Azariah, the son of Amaziah, king of Judah, began to reign. He was sixteen years old when he began to reign, and he reigned fifty-two years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Jechaliah of Jerusalem. And he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, according to all that his father Amaziah had done. Nevertheless, the high places were not taken away. The people still sacrificed and made offerings on the high places. And the Lord touched the king so that he was a leper to the day of his death, and he lived in a separate house. And Jotham, the king's son, was over the household, governing the people of the land. Now the rest of the acts of Azariah and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? And Azariah slept with his fathers, and they buried him with his fathers in the city of David, and Jotham his son reigned in his place. In the thirty-eighth year of Azariah king of Judah, Zechariah the son of Jeroboam reigned over Israel in Samaria six months. And he did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, as his fathers had done. He did not depart from the sins of Jeroboam the son of Nebat, which he made Israel to sin. Shalom the son of Jabesh conspired against him and struck him down at Ibleam, and put him to death and reigned in his place. Now the rest of the deeds of Zechariah, behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. This was the promise of the Lord that he gave to Jehu. Your sons shall sit on the throne of Israel to the fourth generation. And so it came to pass. Shalom, the son of Jabesh, began to reign in the thirty-ninth year of Uzziah, king of Judah, and he reigned one month in Samaria. Then Menahem, the son of Gadai, came up from Tirzah and came to Samaria, and he struck down Shalom, the son of Jabesh, in Samaria, and put him to death and reigned in his place. Now the rest of the deeds of Shalom and the conspiracy that he made, behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. At that time Menahem sacked Tifzah and all who were in it and its territory from Tirzah on, because they did not open it to him. Therefore he sacked it, and he ripped open all the women in it who were pregnant. In the thirty-ninth year of Azariah king of Judah, Menahem the son of Gadai began to reign over Israel and he reigned ten years in Samaria. And he did what was evil in the sight of the Lord. He did not depart all his days from all the sins of Jeroboam the son of Nebat, which he made Israel to sin. Pul, the king of Assyria, came against the land, and Menahem gave Pul a thousand talents of silver, that he might help him to confirm his hold on the royal power. Menahem exacted the money from Israel, that is, from all the wealthy men, fifty shekels of silver from every man, to give to the king of Assyria. So the king of Assyria turned back and did not stay there in the land. Now the rest of the deeds of Menahem and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? And Menahem slept with his fathers, and Pekahiah his son reigned in his place. In the fiftieth year of Azariah king of Judah, Pekahiah the son of Menahem began to reign over Israel in Samaria, and he reigned two years. And he did what was evil in the sight of the Lord. He did not turn away from the sins of Jeroboam the son of Nebat, which he made Israel to sin. And Pekah the son of Remaliah his captain, conspired against him with fifty men of the people of Gilead, and struck him down in Samaria in the citadel of the king's house with Argob and Arya. He put him to death and reigned in his place. Now the rest of the deeds of Pekahiah and all that he did, Behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. In the fifty-second year of Azariah king of Judah, Pekah the son of Remaliah began to reign over Israel in Samaria, and he reigned twenty years. And he did what was evil in the sight of the Lord. He did not depart from the sins of Jeroboam the son of Nebat, which he made Israel to sin. In the days of Pekah king of Israel, Tiglath-Pileser king of Assyria came and captured Ijon, Abel Bethmeaca, Genoa, Kedesh, Hazor, Gilead, and Galilee, all the land of Naphtali, and he carried the people captive to Assyria. 
Then Hoshea, the son of Elah, made a conspiracy against Pekah, the son of Ramaliah, and struck him down and put him to death and reigned in his place, in the twentieth year of Jotham, the son of Uzziah. Now the rest of the acts of Pekah and all that he did, behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. In the second year of Pekah, the son of Remaliah, king of Israel, Jotham, the son of Uzziah, king of Judah, began to reign. He was twenty-five years old when he began to reign, and he reigned sixteen years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Jerusha, the daughter of Zadok. And he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, according to all that his father Uzziah had done. Nevertheless, the high places were not removed. The people still sacrificed and made offerings on the high places. He built the upper gate of the house of the Lord. Now the rest of the acts of Jotham and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? In those days the Lord began to send Rezan, the king of Syria, and Pekah, the son of Remaliah, against Judah. Jotham slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of David his father, and Ahaz his son reigned in his place. Second Chronicles 26 And all the people of Judah took Uzziah, who was sixteen years old, and made him king instead of his father Amaziah. He built Eloth and restored it to Judah, after the king slept with his fathers. Uzziah was sixteen years old when he began to reign, and he reigned fifty-two years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Jechaliah of Jerusalem. And he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, according to all that his father Amaziah had done. He set himself to seek God in the days of Zechariah, who instructed him in the fear of God. And as long as he sought the Lord, God made him prosper. He went out and made war against the Philistines, and broke through the wall of Gath, and the wall of Jabna, and the wall of Ashdod. And he built cities in the territory of Ashdod, and elsewhere among the Philistines. God helped him against the Philistines, and against the Arabians who lived in Gerbael, and against the Meunites. The Ammonites paid tribute to Uzziah, and his fame spread even to the border of Egypt, for he became very strong. Moreover, Uzziah built towers in Jerusalem at the corner gate, and at the valley gate, and at the angle, and fortified them. And he built towers in the wilderness, and cut out many cisterns, for he had large herds, both in the Shephelah and in the plain. And he had farmers and vine dressers in the hills and in the fertile lands, for he loved the soil. Moreover, Uzziah had an army of soldiers fit for war, in divisions according to the numbers in the muster made by Jeiel the secretary, and Maaseah the officer, under the direction of Hananiah, one of the king's commanders. The whole number of the heads of fathers' houses of mighty men of valor was two thousand six hundred. Under their command was an army of three hundred seven thousand five hundred, who could make war with mighty power to help the king against the enemy. And Isaiah prepared for all the army shields, spears, helmets, coats of mail, bows and stones for slinging. In Jerusalem he made engines, invented by skillful men, to be on the towers and the corners, to shoot arrows and great stones. And his fame spread far, for he was marvelously helped, till he was strong. But when he was strong, he grew proud to his destruction. For he was unfaithful to the Lord his God, and entered the temple of the Lord to burn incense on the altar of incense. But Azariah the priest went in after him, with eighty priests of the Lord who were men of valor. And they withstood King Uzziah, and said to him, It is not for you, Uzziah, to burn incense to the Lord, but for the priests, the sons of Aaron, who are consecrated to burn incense. Go out of the sanctuary, for you have done wrong, and it will bring you no honor from the Lord God. Then Uzziah was angry. Now he had a censer in his hand to burn incense, and when he became angry with the priests, leprosy broke out on his forehead in the presence of the priests in the house of the Lord by the altar of incense. And Azariah the chief priest and all the priests looked at him, and behold, he was leprous in his forehead. And they rushed him out quickly, and he himself hurried to go out, because the Lord had struck him. And King Uzziah was a leper to the day of his death, and being a leper lived in a separate house, for he was excluded from the house of the Lord. And Jotham his son was over the king's household, governing the people of the land. Now the rest of the acts of Isaiah, from first to last, Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, wrote, 
And Uzziah slept with his fathers, and they buried him with his fathers in the burial field that belonged to the kings, for they said, He is a leper. And Jotham his son reigned in his place. And if you're watching us online, you can trust in Jesus Christ, your Savior, right where you're at, right where you're sitting. The Bible, uh, again, if you would just believe that Jesus died on the cross and paid for your sins and that he rose again the third day, God promises you that he will save your soul and adopt you as his child. And if you do that, we ask you to please email us uh, and let us know that you've done that. The email address is info, I-N-F-O, at exaltcc.com. That's I-N-F-O at exaltcc.com. Uh, let us know you've done that. We want to send you a Bible, help you in your next steps with uh, your relationship with the Lord. And if you have questions about this, you're like, I don't know about that, but I got some questions. Just please email us your questions. We'd love to answer those things uh, and, and help you understand the gospel better so that you too can trust in Christ as your Savior. Welcome back to our channel, Juice and Toya. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're gonna take you through a full body dumbbell workout. Yep. Now this is a workout you can follow along with us. So you're gonna to wanna to use a pair of dumbbells that's moderate to lightweight because we're gonna do a lot of different exercises in this video. So for reference, I'm using a 20 pound set of dumbbells. And I'm using a 10 pound set of dumbbells. So the way we're gonna break this workout down, we're gonna do six lower, six upper, and three core exercises to finish it out. Okay. So we're gonna do each exercise for 45 seconds, and we're going to give you 15 second break in between, all right? And so in that 15 seconds, we're gonna show you what's next, the next exercise. And you can also use that time, grab a towel, grab a drink of water, or feel free to pause the video if you need a little bit longer break. So it is a follow along video. You can go at our pace and work with us, yep. or feel free to take it up a notch, go at your pace a little quicker or slow it down if you need to. So this is all done at your own pace. Exactly. So if you need a little warm up just to kind of warm your body up yep. before we get started, a lot go ahead of and do that. Otherwise, we're going to jump right into it. Let's get into it.
All right, guys, hopefully you got a nice workout. Yes, and Dropped your a nice core is sweat. on fire and your arms are on fire. Exactly. So if this wasn't enough, if you want to go for another round, feel free to do so. You can yep. do two rounds, three rounds, make this 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Just kind of make it work for you. Hey, guys, Brent here from the X and Christian Central. I just want to thank you guys for watching our video. We really appreciate it. I really hope it's helping you on your Bible goals and your other goals as well. Uh, be sure to check the links in the description for all the material that made this video possible. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to check the socials, our other socials over here. And please like and subscribe as well. Uh, by now, there should be a video for uh, the Babylon Bees Weekly News. I really encourage you guys to check that out. And our sermon link, which I also encourage, our weekly sermon link. Uh, I really encourage you guys to... Check that out as well. I really hope to see you guys tomorrow, and thank you guys again for watching our video. Bye.